Hi everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make ancient Rome style bases or a ruined temple base. Of course, I'll be using this for Warhammer 40k, but that's beside the point. The easiest way to do this is to use a texture roller. Now I've heard the best medium to do this with is a mixture of green stuff and milliput. However, my milliput is getting very old and I want to use it up, so I'll be using pure milliput. Now this stuff is super sticky, and rather than try to roll this out flat onto a base, I'm going to sandwich a ball of it between two pieces of parchment paper and then roll that flat. Once I get it to a size that's roughly the same as the base, I'm going to press it down gently so I don't leave big fingerprints in it, and then I'm going to take out my texture roller that I got from Green Stuff World. Now as I said, milliput is very sticky, so there are some steps you'll want to take to keep your roller from sticking to the milliput. I believe there's already a layer of talcum powder on the roller, but that's going to come off after your first or second use. After that, you can use more talcum powder. I've also heard of people using a thin layer of petroleum jelly, and sometimes I get lazy and I'll just brush a layer of water onto the roller. After I've pressed the texture into the milliput with the roller, I'm then taking my hobby knife and cutting some nice clean edges around the base. I'm then giving that 24 hours to cure, and then I'm going to use a file just to smooth the edges. Now in the meantime, I made a few other bases. I also rolled the texture roller over a few other pieces of flattened milliput and let that harden on some parchment paper. I can then cut these pieces up and add them to other bases as broken bits of floor. This can be useful if the model you're attaching looks like it'll be hard to glue or pin to an uneven surface. Now, you can of course paint these any way you want, but I'll give you a brief explanation of what I did with mine. The first thing I did was spray prime all of these with some white paint. Then I took an ivory color and I put a layer of that over all of the white primer. Once that was completely dry, I added a layer of sepia wash, and I used a damp brush to swipe away all of the pooling on the top of the stones. Then once that dried, I went back over everything with a dry brush of the original ivory color. Next I wanted to add a little bit of extra flair to these bases, so I took a little bit of mud texture and I dabbed it around in some random places on the base. This is also a good way to hide any parts where you messed up with the roller. After that I took some twine and I pulled it apart a bit, and then I glued this down to try to make some twisting vines on the ground. After gluing this down with a bit of super glue, I then used some regular PVA glue to add a bit of green flock on random places along the vines. And that's the last step for these bases, and I would recommend pinning your models to the base. Super glue should work for models with lots of contact area, but anything with tiny feet, you might want to pin it down. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, or at least interesting. Thank you to all of our patrons for your continued support. This is Mike from Watch It Paint It, and thanks for watching.